Hello, welcome to another episode of Transfer Talk on Falls from Iron. I'm Gatesy. Before we get into the main topic, please don't forget, drop a like on the video, really does help the channel out. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of any new content as and when it's uploaded to the channel, such as this. So this latest report comes from XWHU employee, who it has to be said is pretty reliable when it comes to matters relating to West Ham United. Now, he has told his Patreon page, the West Ham way, quotes, unquotes, that Slavia Prague were knocked out of the Champions League this week. This could present us with some transfer options. Firstly, in defence, they have a young defender called David Zimmer. He is only 20, but has already impressed at the heart of their defence and has got himself an international cap. And we could also explore a deal for him and his fellow teammate, Abdullah Sima. Now, this, as I recalled it, comes on a day when it appears, to all intents and purposes, that the Nikola Milenkovic deal appears to be dead in the water. And it also comes on the day that it's been confirmed that Frederick Alves has been given to Sunderland on a season-long loan. So you kind of think if we're not getting Milenkovic and we are moving on a centre-back, is there possibly a centre-back coming in? And obviously, Seema we've been linked with quite a bit over the last six months or so. And we still need a striker. Is there a possibility that maybe there's a double deal that's on the horizon? Who knows? Let's have a little look, first of all, at David Zima. Now, this is a player who, as it says, is 20 years of age. He's a centre-back. He can also be deployed as a right fullback, but his main position is centre-back. He is um, a, as it says there, a Czech Republic international. He has one cap to his name. He is contracted to Slavia Prague until June the 30th, 2024, and Transfer Market have him rated at £6.75 million. Looking at his stats for last season... In the Fortuna Liga, uh, which is obviously the Czech League, he was in the squad out of the 34 matches 29 times. He was in the starting 11 19 times and he came on as a substitute in two on two occasions and was an unused substitute for eight occasions. He was not suspended at all and he had three matches that he missed due to injury. And he has one assist to his name last season, zero goals. In his entire career, just to sort of open it out a little bit, um, he is um, currently on 50 appearances in senior football and he has one goal to his name. He is six foot three inches tall. And he started his career at Sigma Olomouc. He also has caps for the Czech Republic at under 18s, under 20s and under 21 level. So, again, is this a player that maybe could be on the books? As I say, this comes on a day that it appears that the Milenkovic deal isn't going to happen. But to all intents and purposes, and we've just got rid of a centre back in Frederick Alves on a season long loan. So could it be that he's coming in? Entirely possible. And as I say, we need a striker. So it may well be that Abdullah Seema, maybe, maybe it's a double deal. Who knows? Um, Abdullah Seema is also 20 years of age. He's a Senegalese international. His default position is a right winger. He can also be deployed on the left or through the middle. He's contracted, same as Zima. He's contracted to... Slavia Prague until the 30th of June 2024. Transfer market have him rated at £9.9 .9 million. In the Fortuna Liga last season, 34 matches that Slavia Prague played. Slavia Prague played. It's easy for you to say. He was in the squad 21 times. He was in starting 11, 17 of those occasions. 
He was introduced as a substitute on four occasions, was an unused substitute, um, not at all, suspended for two matches and was injured for five. Those five matches that he was injured for, just for a little bit of information, he had a groin injury, five successive matches towards the end of the season. Um, last season, when he was deployed as a right winger, he had 28 matches on the right wing. He scored 16 goals and got six assists. When he was deployed as a centre forward, nine matches, four goals, two assists. His two matches as a left winger didn't bring either a goal nor an assist to his name. If we just go and have a look at some of his stats further along, he has two caps for his national team, Senegal. He is yet to register a goal and looking at his entire career statistics in senior football he has 33 matches for Slavia Prague 16 goals just short of a goal every other game for a guy who hasn't played all of his position all of his matches in the centre forward position in my opinion I think this is a guy that much like Mikhail Antonio much like Marco Arnautovic, I think he could be converted quite readily to a centre full position. He is six foot two inches tall, and this guy is pretty quick, it has to be said. Um, could well be someone that David Moyes is looking at. So let me know what you think. Slavia Prague is a club that we've obviously done quite a bit of business with over the last couple of seasons. Thomas Socek to begin with. Vladimir Tufau following on from that. And there seems to be obviously a good relationship between the two clubs. As I say, Slavia Prague, as was reported on the initial um, ex-WHU employee Patreon post, that obviously Slavia Prague are now out of the Champions League. Does this possibly open up a window of opportunity for West Ham to maybe do some business with them? Let me know your thoughts as usual, guys. David Zimmer, centre-back, 20 years of age, Czech Republic International, and Abdullah Sima, right winger by default, but can be deployed through the middle or on the left. Senegalese International, both 20 years of age, both at present have another three years left on their Slavia Prague deals. Could we possibly be doing a deal for one or maybe even both of them? Let me know your thoughts. Um, as usual, guys, thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified of any new content as and when we upload it to the channel. Thanks very much for listening for the last eight and a bit minutes. Stay safe. Only one thing left to say, and that is, as usual, come on, you irons.